The Victoria General Hospital is a 345 bed hospital and we have on average I'd say between 850 and 900 staff on the site at any given day. We're high energy consumers, uh, we generate a lot of waste and we need to do everything we can to try and reduce that impact. Crothall has been a partner with the healthcare to provide sustainability through modifying the waste we produce in the hospital. So we work with regular waste, biomedical waste, and we've also worked through the laundry services. The past year we've brought on the Strategic Initiatives Coordinator position to help drive forward our waste management plans. If we're ever to make impact with sustainability and reduce our carbon footprint, this position's going to be a champion. As a strategic initiative coordinator, even though my main focus is biomedical waste, I found different areas where we could focus. So I studied the compactors, realized that compactors were being removed when they were not at their full capacity. So I, I saw that as an opportunity to reduce their pickup frequencies. In doing so, we are now achieving over 40% reduction in waste removal costs. Thinking about a hospital, it's a massive operation. Cleaning is coming in, soil linen is going out. You can get a bag of soil linen just by changing one bed. We have about 13.6 million pounds come through uh, our door annually, which uh, breaks down to a neighborhood around 34 to 36,000 pounds a day. We started a six month program to educate and bring awareness to our staff. Reducing linen usage also reduces that environmental impact. It reduces the energy it takes to wash and launder that linen. We're probably looking at uh, anywhere from a two and a half to three percent increase in linen consumptions on an annual basis. So far we've been doing excellent. We are probably as efficient as we can be. It's one of the reasons why we're interested in the linen utilization program, so that we can manage this for um, the future increases that we're expecting. Biomedical waste can cost up to 10 times as much as regular waste. Staff weren't aware of what is considered biomedical waste. One of the measures that was put into place was signage to basically try and educate the staff about how to separate biomedical waste and also positioning off the waste bins. Just by positioning the bins and the signage, we're able to see a 2% reduction in biomedical waste. The staff at the Victoria General Hospital have been very engaged and want to be part of this program and they have been very forthcoming about how they can see changes and wanting to be part of the program. Staff are compassionate, they want to recycle, they want to be sustainable, so sharing the results with them actually encourages them to do more. Climate change impacts public health in a significant way. We really appreciate all the partnership and effort of Compass Group, but it's really all 17,000 employees pulling together that will make a difference and reduce our carbon footprint.